The hype train for Tom Clancy's The Division 2 has been on its way for a long time, but with the release date coming closer, it's really ramping up its speed. To add to the effect, there have been a lot of information leaks recently about the private and open beta, Dark Zone and details on the story and campaign. In this video, I'm going over all the rumors to provide you with a simple overview of all the information that has been leaked over the past few weeks. But first, a disclaimer, the information in this video hasn't been confirmed by Massive Entertainment, Red Storm Studios or Ubisoft. On the 18th of December last year, Michael, a technical alpha tester for The Division 2, tweeted that the codes for the private beta will be sent out on the 16th of January this year. However, the launch of the private beta would be communicated at a later date by Ubisoft. G Fuel has a bundle offer that provides an access code to the private beta to which Michael was referring. The second image shows a summary of the terms and conditions saying the codes will be sent out on or around the 15th of January. There is a difference in the date between the tweet from Michael and the Walmart image, but I think Michael might have mistyped here. I think it's obvious to take this with a pinch of salt. December 30th, Epic Slayers, a fellow YouTuber, created a video on Dark Zone rumors that he supposedly saw on the forums. I couldn't find the sources he was talking about, nor did he link them, meaning we're kind of left in the dark. The rumors included turrets that would guard the entrance of the Dark Zone checkpoints, PvP would be restricted to certain areas of the Dark Zone, and friendly fire would be turned on again, similar to Rogue 1.0. On top of that, you would be able to go rogue by stealing and by doing certain other actions. What these are, we don't know at the moment. I think the balance between PvE and PvP is always hard to create, but it looks like they're trying according to these rumors. There's no more information or sources that I could find, so I'll quickly move on to the other rumors. Skipping forward to January 3rd this year, the Entertainment Software Rating Board, or ESRB, released their rating for Tom Clancy's Division 2. The game is M-rated, 17+, plus, and it was accompanied with a summary which detailed specific things about the game. Most of the information here is already known, but here are a few things to take away from that summary. I quote, Cutscenes depict instances of intense violence, characters shot in the head at close range, a restrained character struck repeatedly with a hammer, mostly off-screen, a fictional drug called Spice is prevalent in the game, as well as other drug references. Bags of spice, drugs lab, drug making paraphernalia, depicted the words drug kitchen written on some walls and then some other stuff. This spice could be related to the green cloud we saw early in the concept art that was released near the end of August in 2018. Perhaps the faction in concept art are the creators of the spice and it plays a big role in the game. And this is some interesting information because we now know that besides these cruel cutscenes there will be a drug called Spice and with the bags and the drug addition it will play a decently large role in the game. Obviously it's not confirmed by the developers or publisher but the ESRB is a company held to high standards and wouldn't randomly leak information like this. January 4th. PlayStation Official Magazine UK, another credible company, released a cover photo for their January edition. The cover photo is Tom Clancy's The Division 2, with the release date of the magazine, it being the 15th of January. This is in the same line with earlier information we found. It seems that the embargo will end on the 15th of January, so we know when to get ready. January 5th, there was more information leaked on game.co.uk. It appears a new edition called the Washington DC edition will be available to pre-order. Another one on top of the six that we already had. And it has a lot of similarities to the Dark Zone Definitive Edition, but without the figurine. It has a lot of the pre-order bonuses we've already seen, and also mentioned an exotic M4A1 skin. This is a new rarity for weapon skins that we haven't seen in Tom Clancy's The Division. 
The same site showed a summary of the game. In this description there was some new information. I quote, play alone or with up to three friends in a 40 hour campaign in thorn and boiling Washington DC. And then it goes on with some stuff we already know, after which it continues with discover a revamped PvP gameplay in a brand new dark zone designed to provide a fair and exciting experience to all players regardless of their level progression. Let's first touch on the campaign length. This campaign length is a little bit longer than what we've had in Tom Clancy's Division, which was around 25 to 30 hours, I believe. And that's good. On top of that, the Dark Zone has been revamped. We knew that already, but apparently we can play the Dark Zone fair and exciting even, regardless of our level. Very interesting. Besides this, it was some mumbo jumbo about the dynamic open world and year one DLC, which you can read by yourself if you're interested in that. Multiple leaks regarding the Dark Zone, betas, campaign, story and the embargo release date. Some sources are more credible than others, however we'll have to wait for Ubisoft, Massive Entertainment or Redstorm Studios to confirm any of these rumors to be true. The most important thing to take away from this is that somewhere around the 15th of January we're probably going to see a lot of information being released, so keep an eye out around that date. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the news I would like to ask you to like or dislike whatever you think it deserves, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in supporting me monetarily. For this video in particular I haven't created an exclusive project but usually I make extra blueprints on top of my weapon guides, my build guides or infographic story overviews. To end the video I have a question for you. What would you like to see information on first? The dark zone, private or open beta or something else? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. For now, peace out.